Okay, I did say I would either do a live stream or a new video, and I have chosen to do a video. Mainly for my new channel, I've got to try and break out of this laziness. So, I'm going to sketch off a picture of a dog from Bing Images. Even if it's just a quick one. Let's see. I do love drawing golden retrievers. Is this a nice high quality pick? If it's not, I won't use it. Never waiting for us, girl. It ran one step ahead as we fall in the dust. Dream upon a page of my might break my concentration. I just think of the salt in my head. Okay. This picture right by my side. What am I going to use? 6B or 4B? 4B sounds good. What I typically do is, um, I've learned this from my stepdad, is to do about mm, four tiny little dashes to show how big the picture is going to be basically. If you're going to fill the whole area of the paper, well, you've got to show where that's going to go. You don't want your picture too big or too small. This is especially important if you want to fill it. Fill it in. Okay, let's go. There might be a lot of rubbing now because I even I make mistakes. I mean, I'm not a professional, but... I'm getting really good at these dog drawings and this is the reason why I've decided to make um, another art channel. One that I'm not going to delete. I'm going to try and do, um, do videos as often as I can. Now I could have easily have made this a time lapse video but no. We'll see. <laughs> okay. If I know the truth, I always found drawing gong retrievers quite easy compared to other dog breeds, and I don't know why. <laughs> My family sure knows it. Okay. So we'll, um. So it's just the head of the dog, which I guess is fine. Back still has not fully recovered. So, um. Got to be careful where the eye's going to go. Right here, I think. Like I said, there might be some rubbing out. And there might be some singing and humming too, because that's what I do to keep myself calm. picture over here. See how it looks. Mm -hmm. okay. Trickiest part is actually the snout. I have a lot of trouble sometimes with the snout. The nose? Mm, not so much. Actually I don't find it that hard to do the snout at all. Some people um, actually do a grid but I just it just feels too complicated for me, so I try to just do it my way, or what's best for the drawing. Okay, so that would go there. 
the more realistic a dog, usually the more smaller its eyes are going to be. A lot of the time I start with the shape and then I do the eyes. Now, if the eyes are too far apart, I can easily fix that with my trusty rubber. <laughs> you know that feeling you get when you feel very excited? Well, that feeling down in your tummy? Well, it's a feeling that I actually get when I realise that my drawing is starting to look really good. <laughs> it's a nice feeling actually. A feeling of excitement. And if by chance there are any interruptions, I might make the video semi-silent. I'm not happy with how it looks, so we're going to have to fix it. And if that means rubbing out the whole entire thing, so be it. Everyone makes mistakes, even the professionals do. But my stepdad tells me to never give up, keep going and persevere. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult for me to not give up, especially when my drawing looks well, <laughs> in my opinion, when it does not look good. Other people might think it looks good, but I seem to know when my picture looks good or not. It's the truth. Okay. Alright, that's a bit better.
Sometimes I wonder if doing the mouth is actually the best part. Well, best part I mean by easiest part because the mouth looks pretty much on point. I know you probably can't see it because of the angle that the webcam is on, but you probably know what I mean. A lot of the time when I'm doing a dog drawing, it's actually a request, not just a simple picture. People actually, I get paid to do these drawings. And they get framed as well. That would make them probably extra special. very important how you do the eyes because as I've been told the eyes of the soul are the um, key to the animal soul something like that but we're not going to do the eyes yet still got to get all this part right first like I said though yes the eyes are an important part and that's usually the part I do near the end
going. Which is a good thing, because I want to keep going. When you've got a sore back and sore neck, or just one of the two, well, yeah, it can be hard to draw, but, oh boy, this really is persevering, isn't it? <laughs> Putting the um, parts of the dog in the right spots. That's also very important. I wouldn't be able to do this if I did not have a photo to guide me because I'm not a professional and I, well, I like doing it this way. <laughs> you could say it's my style. Just because you're drawing it from the photo, it does not mean you're cheating. I've been told that many times because I used to think that. I used to think that drawing from the photo was cheating and that I should draw from, from memory. Well, that is quite tricky. So I prefer to do it like this. I've got to actually do these ears properly instead of just, mm, main, mm, just scribbling them. Okay. I ain't rubbing up the mouth because that's pretty much perfect. Maybe a little bit of a snail can go. I think we're out of something extra. Go fix up those teeth. Track of those teeth is also very important. The slightest mess up could easily ruin the picture. So I've got to be very careful. Okay, the teeth look good. Um, oh yeah, of course the dog's mouth is more open than that. loved golden retrievers. They definitely deserve their reputation as family friendly dogs. I'm tempted to say good dog because, yeah, this is a pretty good dog. <laughs> hmm, maybe the mouth's not large enough? When I'm all done, I'll show you. <sighs> Gotta try and avoid being lazy and actually do it like how it looks. As much as I can. I'm not gonna worry about colouring it though, at least not yet. and bumps to show what goes where. Okay. Sometimes
sometimes I even do lines indicating where the eyes and snout meet and everything. Like what I'm doing right now, looking carefully. God, the eyes can be hard to do. If I'm not happy with it, rub it out, try again. There will be times when someone who does art says, I can't draw this, this looks like shit. Well, guess what? It's not true. Anyone can draw. Even something as something as a, something as simple as a little stick figure is a drawing. Anyone can draw. People without arms or legs can draw. How's that for a little speech? <laughs> it's true. Those people can draw. They don't let their disabilities overcome them. It's pretty amazing. And I get shown stuff like that so that um, I keep going and don't give up on myself. I should be grateful I can do things like wash the dishes and hang out the washing as much as I don't like doing those things. It shows what I'm capable of doing. Everything. Everything I'm capable of doing. Okay. We're on to the onto the um, left ear again. Something does not seem right. I can't really seem to figure out what it is. What could that be? Oh, of course. I think the years need to be a little more far back. That's it. The years got to be more far back. Got to try and make sure it looks like the dog. So we'll go far back here. A few little squeals and lines for the years. No problem. Years are actually a pretty simple part to do. <laughs> yeah, you probably can't see this as clearly as me, but I'll definitely show it when I'm done. Alright, now to give it a little bit of judgment. Done the mouth, and I've done the nose, and um, other features. I might need to fix the shape of some things. I'm going to see how my mother reacts when I get home. When <laughs> she sees what I've been doing. Not just doing this to impress people. I'm doing this because I love it. I love art. <laughs> I've been drawing for so very long. Since I was a very little kid. But I really never thought I'd get to this stage. There was a time when I was like, nope. I can't do that, it's too hard. It took a lot of perseverance for my family to actually um, keep going and try again. And when I finally realized the potential I had, well, let's just say I did stop for a while because of COVID and there were no more requests for a long time. But finally got back into it. Just gotta fix up that ear. Focus on the drawing. Try to ignore the webcam because it could be a little bit of a distraction, but it's recording everything that I'm doing. I'm actually finally putting it to good use. It's kind of funny how I think I can draw a dog better than a cat. Why is that? I've had more practice with dogs. That's the simplest answer there is. I think um, I'll just, um, yeah, we do that. Dog is looking pretty good so far. Now, what needs to be fixed before we add the eyes? Or maybe I could just add the eyes now. 
shading and colouring is pretty exciting. Okay, so this dog looks a little bit um looks a bit um of age, so um these white lines could easily follow those to do the eyes. He's in the right spot, right here. There's that feeling of excitement. Okay, so the eyes are not the correct shape, but the shape, <laughs> shape, but it looks pretty good so far. Jeez, he's good. I try to I look at the pit photo and I try to imagine an imaginary line going from one eye to the other. That's one way I do it. Got a oops, eye too too weird and out of shape. It's not also um, not a good idea to do the eye exactly the same as the other. It's an important thing to remember. Alright, I don't want to say it, but the eyes looking semi-perfect. <laughs> Saying this because there are much better artists than me out there. And I have to accept that. Heck, there's even people who are um, also doing what I'm doing. Kind of a challenge if you ask me. But you know what? I like a challenge. So I've got a. <laughs> my stepdad says you gotta pull your finger out. I need to get a drink soon. I've been talking for so long that my mouth is a little bit dry. If you guys have liked this narration, now even if my mother comes home before this drawing is done, I'm not gonna stop it. Persevered this long. Look at this. This is exactly what I should be posting on here. On the um <gasps> new channel. Dog art. I mean, Joker stuff is fine, but I really gotta concentrate because this is a job. This is my job. I don't wanna work in a fast food restaurant or somewhere like retail. I mean, it's just wouldn't be a fun job for me. This is a job I love. I love to draw. And so I should, um, I know I said I should be grateful earlier, but I really am grateful. I've got a gift and I've got to use it. Remember that artists who don't believe in yourselves, you can do it. Some things might need to be fixed up a little bit, but they're mostly around the facial area, so it shouldn't be too bad. I've realised something. The eyes are too high. change the nose shape. how it looks. <sighs> That's my phone buzzing, just ignore that. Got to focus on drawing. That's my dogs, <laughs> ignore that too. So 
see what happens if we adjust that those lips a bit. Hmm. Oh boy, I can really see the golden retriever starting to shine through. You guys want to take a look? Even though I'm not done yet. Uh, you probably can't see it properly because the webcam is facing down. So um, maybe just half of it. <laughs> just half of the dog. <laughs> okay. Now it is time to sharpen this pencil. Smudging always comes in handy. I don't think much of this dog needs to really even be fixed up. <laughs> it already looks pretty good so far. Those ears though. I'm gonna just check if my video is still running. Yep, still going. Now if I flip this up that video upside down during editing, you would definitely see the drawing. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do when this is all done. I'm going to make sure that people can actually see the drawing. Not upside down either. <laughs> you know what? I actually used to have a golden retriever. Well, technically he was my father's dog. But, um, yeah, well, we haven't had him in years. <laughs> he went to a new owner because we couldn't keep him. He was a good dog. <laughs> I miss you, Charlie. All right. Hmm, are the ears too small? Actually, hang on. Don't rush the drawing. Maybe it can change the eye just a little bit. It's in the right spot, I think. Maybe make them a bit bigger. More plateful looking eyes. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm good at drawing golden retrievers as good as other breeds. <laughs> Maybe just, maybe I just like your own golden retrievers. You never know. I'm sure everyone has their own favorite dog breed. If they love dogs. All right, where's the thicker pencil? We got um, 6B now. This is where the magic happens. I love this part, the part where you do the eyes because that's I s I've said this before, this is when the realism really starts to show through and your picture actually starts to look like it's a, a living creature. Beautiful. I did a horse once that I've posted on a few of my online accounts and when I saw the end result, well, you should have seen me. I was so excited. Alright, that eye is not, not, exactly the, not exactly how I wanted it. I'm sure I can fix it though. Just, um, push the eye more upper upwards I think the dog looks great your eye looks good but I'm sure I can do even better than that 
So let's go up here with that eye. There's that feeling of excitement again. It's a wonderful feeling. Don't over exaggerate either. Pretty realistic, but not exactly the same as I wanted it. So let's try again. It's very important when doing dog eyes, unless the dog is, you know, scared or something, you have to make sure you don't show the whites of the eyes. That's very important. Don't show the whites of the eyes. There we go, it's better. Oops, pencil broke. I can fix that, but first let's um Ooh, looks very nice. Okay, the eyes might not stay like that all the way through, but I think it's what I'm gonna go with for now. I got that realism in there. I don't know how long I've been drawing for, honestly, but I don't care. <laughs> when this video is over, I'm sending this to my mother to see what she thinks. Hey, that looks better. Add a little bit of the dog's back. Doesn't matter that in the picture the dog's head is buried in the leaves. I think I might need to have a drink soon. Just fixing up that tooth right there. Bit of lump, few lumps and bumps. The fun part will start soon, very soon. How well this is turning out. Oopsie. Rubbers will sometimes betray you. <laughs> Don't, don't get too excited yet, not done, not done already. Gotta keep, keep going.
don't want that tooth to look too sharp. Oh, I see what that is. That's part of the dog's gum. Um, uh, the part of, yeah, part of the dog's lips. <laughs> Why did I say gum? And I've just realised I'm making a little mistake here. Fix that mistake up. Quick smart. Bit of pale colour here. Maybe the nose needs to be a little larger, especially over here. Don't want the drawing to look too straight either. Need lots of lumps and bumps and whatnot to suggest a living creature. If I can change the shape of the head to fix it up more, just trying to get that realism in there. Look at the picture for reference. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but <laughs> halfway there. Be talking so much. Whew. I guess I really do live by my childhood nickname, <laughs> Chatterbox. What's going on here? Some things are not as obvious as they seem at first, but I think I'm starting to realise something here. This is where the eye, where the other eye goes. Just ignore the dog. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks kind of weird at the moment, but I'll fix that. iPad is also not very high on charge, so I have to make the most of this. Get as much done as possible. I think the eyes are too far apart, but I am not going to wreck the mouth. I'll just have to probably slide the eyes over, but first, hmm, how am I going to do this? I did a good job of the left eye, but, yeah, that, but since it's um, way too far apart, I have to fix that. Fix up the mistake I did. That's better, I think. No, you probably can't see it, but I am smiling. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. 
I tend to do the Joker impressions for my best friend and um, others who um, are familiar with my main channel. I mean, how could I not? <laughs> that one right there though, that was for my best friend. Also, wonderful shout out to her. And I can't wait to see what her next drawing's going to be. I ain't touching the needle eraser because of its um well I think I've got to get a new one I'm tempted to actually reposition that nose just a little bit. And I think I will. That's my dog. I'm just ignore him. <laughs> Being a little bit barky. Actually, I think it's my I think it's our dogs. I'm not sure. I think it's time now to start shading in the nose. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the other? HP. Broken, it needs to be fixed, B. Some lighter tones up here. Those nostrils are going to be black as the midnight sky. <laughs> Banjo is very protective of his home. Unfortunately. Actually, no, not unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately in the sense that it can be a little bit annoying. But he's just trying to protect us. And that's what a good dog does. Just wish they didn't bark at every single thing that went past. gonna worry about whiskers that's one dog detail I don't really put in why maybe because I just don't feel the need to This is 4B. This is probably the longest drawing video I've ever done. And I mean the longest. Gosh knows how much longer it's going to go on for. <laughs> and Joe and Tilly. Gotta get this part right, definitely. said this but so far so good Okay. 
Banjo, hush, please. Still going. Thank goodness. Still going, still going. That is so very good. Very happy about that. Very passionate about my art. I don't want other people to be able to see me doing it. <laughs> okay, a bit of um got some dark patches around here and some light patches. I don't know what that is. Okay, now I'll do some swift strokes around here to, you know, give the impression of the Gone on Trivers wavy fur. Maybe um, rub out a bit of that. One of the hardest parts to do is the fur pattern. But even that can be achieved with patience and dedication. And let me tell you firsthand, guys, that is true. Thank goodness for these different shades and everything. Okay, um, that part's got to be white so it shows more clearly. So those thick locks right there. Pretty good, pretty good. Beautiful, lovely, love it. Now, we got an interesting part here. Since this does look like an elderly dog, we've got to um, do the white bit around the eyes and the forehead. It's really gonna show then. Why does it look like I'm rushing? <laughs> I want to finish it before my parent, before my family gets home, so she can see it when I'm all done. That's why. Paper. Dog looks beautiful. Some first strokes there. There you go. <laughs> We're nearly there, folks. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have any reason to rush. So the families might be home now. What? The eyes are hard to get right. How was that? See if I can um, get that eye like this more. Because I notice that the eye is kind of on an angle, which is perfectly fine considering how the picture looks. I'd say Banjo's just barking from the backyard. Nothing to really worry about. Here we go. Finally did it. It would look even better in colour, but we can worry about that maybe later. Oh, <laughs> those eyes are adorable. I think we're nearly done. Ooh, something a little bit creepy about it. Something is not seeming right about the dog's eye there. So we've got to fix that up. Maybe we've got to make it smaller. There you go.
<laughs> I love golden retrievers. Now, I've realised my mistake. His nose is too small. Other than that though, the dog looks a lot like the picture. Just gotta fix up that mistake. Let's do the nose again. This should be fun. <laughs> oh man. Usually I get the nose right first go. Well not first go, but almost first go. Thought something looked off about it. Dogs and their big wet noses for sniffing. <laughs> Then again, we don't want the nose too large, still. I've got to get some more colouring pencils, I think. What timing, too. <coughs> Gee, one would think that Benjo was out the front door and he was barking. <coughs> what done? Oh, oh man. Probably, I uh, can see my hand. Hope you loved that video, guys. Hope it was worth all that time.